last year today, I uploaded my first Minecraft video. Now, you know what that means, channel update time. But I, I don't want to be predictable, so to keep you on your toes, I'm also going to rant about college stuff as well, because those are the only two things I do. Now, obviously, I won't tell you what college I go to. I'm not an idiot. But what I will say is that I 100% do not go to UC Merced, and I'm going to tell you why. So last year when I was doing college apps, by the way, never apply as undeclared, you will regret it. I applied to a few universities of California because, like, why wouldn't you? I got a certain GPA in high school, so I'm guaranteed an admission into a UC. And guess which UC I was guaranteed admission to? One of the ones I applied to? <laughs> no, it was Merced, a school that literally nobody in their right mind would go to. But at the time, I didn't know this. So I was like, all right, I didn't apply to this one, so I'll just drive down there and check out the campus. Because you never know, some campuses have a super rich community built around them and have built up a lot of personality over the centuries. And on the way there, when I stopped to eat lunch at our beloved American restaurant, I decided to check out some information about the university. Guess what? It was built in 2005. I'm literally almost older than this university. There's no way it has a rich community built around it. And when I got there, I quickly learned what happens when you build a fully functioning university in a matter of just a few years, instead of being patient and letting the university slowly grow over time. It was in the middle of nowhere. It was literally miles away from the city of Merced. And believe me when I tell you this, there was literally nothing there. You know how college life is typically characterized by being able to walk anywhere you go, aka just living in Europe? If you wanted to go to the city of Merced, where all the fun is, you need a car. There wasn't even sidewalks on the road leading to, into Merced. But don't get me wrong, the campus is really nice, but there isn't any commerce built around it. There's no thriving community. Heck, when I got there, I saw literally zero students. Ain't nobody want to do any summer classes there. I bet the students regret going there when it's 130 degrees outside and the nearest Starbucks is literally a two hour walk away. Well anyways, time to stop roasting UC Merced because then I chose a different college and that was that. But a month or so before classes start, I was sparring with someone else in my martial arts school and I don't know if it was from bad form or if I should have drank more milk, but we both punched at the same time and struck the hands together and I broke my wrist doing it. So <laughs> there we go, no martial arts for six weeks, but guess what I was able to do instead? Use my computer! So I got on my computer and I used and used and used my computer and got so insanely bored of watching random stuff on YouTube that I decided to join a game that I literally haven't touched in a year. Hypixel Skyblock. I originally left it out of pure burnout and because I was on a tennis team that was honestly so much more fun than Skyblock ever could be. But I got so desperate to do something, anything other than watching YouTube that I started playing Skyblock again. And I didn't even hate it. Don't ask me why, but of all the things to enjoy in Skyblock, the thing that got me hooked was farming. Farming in the garden. <laughs> and after a couple weeks of playing the game, I decided to rant about the game a bit. So I opened Google Docs and just as I'm doing right now, wrote the script for the Skyblock experience video, recorded me in F5 in 720p, threw it together in Premiere, and uploaded it to this channel that totally did not exist before I started making Minecraft content. At first there was nothing, and then there was nothing, and then there was nothing, and then there was something, and then there was something? What the f- I think this goes without saying, you're not supposed to get really any views at all on your first video, as Mr. Beast himself says. Your first video is not gonna give views, period. It's not, your first 10 are not gonna give views. I can very confidently say that. Well, I guess he doesn't know much about YouTube because I am the exception. And when I logged onto YouTube Studio and saw the analytics for the video that day, I totally didn't realize it because I assumed that was the number of impressions. I was like, there's no way that that's views, right? But then when I realized it was views, the high I got off of that was unimaginable. So I knew that I had to continue. And what do you do when you find success and don't know what you're doing? You recycle the idea! Except this time, I'm not ranting about Skyblock, but rather attempting to give you valuable information, which ended up just being common sense things to do, so surely not a single soul would watch the- 
What? But at the time, I didn't actually perform better at all, so I decided to move on. I really wanted to start an Iron Man profile in spite of this guy, and it ended up being yet another terribly edited video, and it somehow still got hundreds of views. Now at this point, I was losing my mind. I was doing so unbelievably well that I almost convinced myself I was just built different, but I still wasn't entirely committed to making this a Skyblock channel, so I joined some friends on the server that was alright content, I guess, made a super short video about it, and it got 1200 views. I didn't know I could lose my mind any more than I did, but I did. So I just continued doing what I was doing, continuing the Iron Man series and the Stranded server series, and the views started stalling out, but I mean... The stranding is a strong word. Keep in mind, I've only been uploading for a couple months. So as far as Mr. Beast is concerned, any views is amazing, and I shouldn't complain about 120. But I wasn't, because I had something up my sleeve. An idea, because I was wondering if with all of my real life commitments, if I could get every single item in the great spook event on Skyblock in the one week that it was active. And because I was kinda running out of good ideas, I was motivated to make this thing work. And it actually had so much content that it turned into two 20 minute videos, longer than any other video I've ever done. And it did really well. And this is where things started to go downhill. Actually no, after this video is where things started to go downhill. Because up to this point, I felt like I was getting really, really lucky with the algorithm. Because my thumbnail sucked, my retention sucked, and the algorithm was somehow still pushing my videos out. So I started to look to try to find the meta for YouTube. I started trying to learn color theory for my thumbnails because, oh my goodness, my click-through rate was abysmal. And I started focusing way too much on the analytics. I'd say between the Skyblock forging update video and my 12th Iron Man video, with the exception of the trailer thing I did, I was obsessed with making the perfect thumbnail, the perfect video, the perfect edits, the perfect title, and that absolutely obliterated my motivation. But they kept getting views like what? I don't get it. At this point, I was just making videos for the sake of seeing internet number go bigger, and they were still doing well. But of course you can't just keep pumping out video after video after video without enjoying it and have them do well, and eventually the algorithm caught up to me. The 11th Iron Man video was a wake up call because that was by far the worst performing video on my channel, like <laughs> it's not even close. And that's when I realized that I wasn't really putting my heart and soul into these videos anymore. I released one more video and then took a one month breather. You just can't make videos on YouTube without enjoying it because making videos is hard work. You really need motivation to edit a video because that is by far the nastiest part of all this. During that time, that's when I realized I was overthinking this. Trying to strategically do YouTube and obsessing over the numbers is what caused those numbers to ultimately drop. And I wasn't really making content for fun anymore. Not to mention that my obsessing over the numbers wasn't even producing results. Like it was the exact same click through rate as it always has been. Despite putting tons of effort into these thumbnails, they weren't doing well. And despite carefully crafting the first 30 seconds of the video, the average view duration was always 3 minutes. Like why 3 minutes? It's 3 minutes on every single video ever. And I simply wasn't enjoying it anymore. So then I realized this. No matter if I obsess over the little details or not, it will perform the same. And since obsessing over the details is ruining the fun I was having, why don't I just not worry too much about it? After the month long break, I started working on my next video, the Magma Boss one. And this time around, I decided to just not worry too much about the details and just make the video. I reflected upon the video that got me here in the first place, and instead of making a super well-crafted intro with a bunch of fancy graphics and stuff, I just looked at myself in F5, just like the Skyblock Experience video, and read out a script, just like the Skyblock Experience video. 
Instead of making a super refined and contrasty thumbnail in Photoshop, I just took a screenshot of me looking at a magma cube and plopped some PNGs of hearts in between. And with so much less stress and actually enjoying making the video for it changed, I uploaded it and it did great, just as great as all my other videos in the past have done. Of course, it didn't get 10,000 views like my first couple videos did, but obsessing over trying to recreate that success is what resulted in failure after failure. At that point, I understood that overthinking YouTube is how you do poorly on it, and to just be you and be casual and the algorithm will do the rest. I applied this philosophy to what's currently my latest video, where I just talked to the mic while playing a simple yet original challenge. It didn't overthink the thumbnail, and it also did really well. I don't think it's a one-year update video without talking about what's in store for the next year, but if I gotta be honest, I really don't know. Every video I do is just me coming up with an idea at some random point in the day and just making the video. So beyond more Iron Man content and more commentary videos, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what my subconscious throws at me next. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.